If you've been following my channel, you may have noticed that I haven't been uploading as consistently as I'm used to. So I thought I'd hop on and do a quick channel update and let you know that, well, one, I'm, I'm, st I'm still alive, I'm still here, and two, why I've struggled to post lately. Um, if you care. If not, the short of it is I'll be back soon with some more regular content. Basically, I've been juggling too much and I'm realizing that something's gotta give. Well, the truth is something did give and that was my YouTube content. The problem with juggling too many things is that you tend to give all the attention to the current fire and the current fire and your priorities don't always line up. So besides running my YouTube channel and making Fusion Online courses, I've been running two maker spaces, a community maker space and a college maker space. That's four main things I've been trying to juggle. And even though I told myself I could handle juggling all of it, the reality is that I'm mostly shifting focus from one thing to another. And the thing I'm focused on at the moment is great, but the rest will then struggle. It also doesn't help that I'm not the best at multitasking. I tend to thrive in projects where I can dive deep and allow myself to get obsessive and hyper-focused. Um, but life doesn't always give you that luxury. So I came to the realization that something had to give. Now this is really hard to do when you love doing all the things, but know that you have to give something up because you simply don't have enough hours in your day. So here are my four main things. I'll start with my YouTube channel. I love making stuff and I love sharing them with you. I love the entire process, coming up with ideas, making the thing, recording it, and even the video editing. Each element is a creative journey in its own. These take a lot of time, but ultimately bring me a lot of pleasure and joy and is a great creative outlet. It also ties closely to the next thing, which is my online course business. This currently consists of Autodesk Fusion courses and my weekly live Zoom classes, um, also in Fusion. Now, I enjoy making these, and based on your feedback, I believe that teaching is one of my strengths. It's a beautiful thing when your passion and your strengths align. These are also what pay the bills. Next is my college makerspace job. I love seeing students get just as excited as I do for this kind of stuff. Teaching is really enjoyable when the students are really engaged. You really do feed off each other's energy and excitement. I've been building and running this space for the last seven years. It's a part-time role, um, also pays the bills, but it's a 30 hour a week commitment. And then there's my community maker space that I co-founded and run. Uh, this has been a 10 year project, a true labor of love meaning I don't get paid for any of it. It's hard to convey to other people why I do this, but ultimately I love building things, whether they're beautiful physical things or meaningful communities. So that's four things, and one has to go. It can't be my online course business because uh, I like to eat. I've invested way too much energy into my community maker space to let it go under. I don't plan to lead it forever, but I first have to put in place a good leadership team before I can sail into the sunset. So this stays for now. My YouTube channel is now kind of tied to my online courses, so it doesn't make sense to stop this. Plus I enjoy it and have the flexibility to scale it back if needed, which you probably have noticed that that's what I've done lately. Now to my college maker space. 10 years ago, if you would have asked me for my dream job, I would have said to run a college maker space. In fact, I remember giving this exact answer to this question before I had the job. However, it's a big time commitment. Even though I truly love the work, saying yes to another year of running it is automatically saying no to other priorities in my life, intentionally or not. I've had the goal of building it up to a standard where I could feel proud leaving it for the next person and I think I've accomplished that. It's really hard to give up a good thing, and I think that's why I've convinced myself for so many years that I could do all four. So I made a hard decision and told my director that I wasn't going to continue in my role of running the college maker space. I had the idea of incorporating that work into my YouTube channel, you know, sort of killing two birds with one stone. Um, for example, doing YouTube videos on different projects I was working on but just could never find the time. 
But before I wrap up this chapter in my life, I wanted to capture what I've built and display it just like I did with my other projects, not only to celebrate it, but to also share it with you. The way I chose to do this is with a Makerspace video tour. It's work I'm extremely proud of. It's bittersweet, although hard to leave, I'm excited about the opportunities this decision will open up. You're going to see a bit more of me as I'll have more time to devote to my channel. I get to grab all those project ideas that have been put on the shelf and dive in. I get to dive in without the weight and restraint of limited time. I'm looking forward to fully exploring ideas and enjoying the journey without the snuffing pressure of deadlines. So I'll wrap up by showing you my longest project yet, seven years in the making. Uh, here's a video tour of the college maker space I've been building over the years. We'll begin the tour at the 3D printing area. We currently have 11 3D printers available. Six of them are Prusa Minis. A recent addition is the Prusa XL with five tool heads. Next to the Prusa is a Raze 3D Pro 2 with two print heads. Next we have three Prusa Mark IVs. These recently replaced the Mark IIIs we've been using the last several years. We'll go to our laser cutting area. Here we have two CO2 laser cutters, a 30 watt Epilog Zing and a newer 40 watt Epilog Fusion Edge. The smaller Zing has a cutting area of 16 by 12 inches while the Fusion Edge is 24 by 24 inches. Each is connected to their own fume extractors and air compressors. Adjacent to the laser cutters is the electronics area. Here we have a bunch of components for electronics prototyping. Anyone recognize the 3D printed storage system here? Uh, that drawer has a bunch of sensors and in here we have all sorts of motors, Arduinos and other microcontrollers, LEDs, and bottom drawer here has a bunch of soldering equipment. So lots of different components there for electronics work. And then next to that is our crafting area. Here we have two vinyl cutters, a Roland GS24 and a Cricut Maker. Here we have laptops and iPads along with Apple pencils that students can check out. There's a bunch of design software installed in those. We'll walk over to the other side of the room. We'll pass some work tables and you'll see some uh, desktop computers there. That's our metal tool cabinet where we have screwdrivers and wrenches and hammers and all sorts of uh, tools uh, that are labeled that students can use. This is the AR sandbox, really cool project, but uh, we'll save that for a whole different video that deserves a complete video in itself. We are now entering our shop and the highlight of the shop is our ShopBot Desktop Max CNC. This one has an automatic tool changer, which is really cool. Next, we have our Carbide 3D Nomad Pro CNC, a miter saw, some hand tools there on top of a workbench I built, a bandsaw, a drill press, and then some tools I still have yet to set up, including our oscillating sander and our scroll saw. Leaving the shop, I'll show some of the things I've been making with the CNC's. A few signs, a sanding table, and a birdhouse. I spent the last month learning to use the shop bot and coming up with projects that students could make and putting together workshops to teach the basics of CNC operation in order to train the students. Here's a view from our lounge slash brainstorming area where you can see the entire space. All right, well, that concludes a quick tour of the Norwalk Community College Makerspace. If you have any questions about any of the tools or the setup we have here, feel free to leave them in the comments. Alright guys, I will see you in a few.